Welcome to another Ask Katrina. The question today is, Katrina, what if I miss it? This question comes about because, and we talked about this a little bit on the last episode, actually. So if you didn't check that out, go listen to it. But ultimately, when we step into the executive seat for the first time, we have missed in a lot of ways the true reality that there's a growth curve, that we've got to step into this role, that we've got to grow into it. And because we miss it, we feel like there's a lot of things that we've got to catch up and do or earn back, right? Well, then inherently the next question is, okay, well, I'm at peace with that. I, you know, I'm going to figure out how to earn it or I don't have to earn it, but I'm going to learn how to be successful. Okay, that's ultimately where we land. I'm going to learn how to exec correctly. In whatever capacity that looks like, we align that we've got to learn it. Okay. But then what happens is we're marching down this path of growth and learning and we're figuring out how to exec correctly. And suddenly we go, oh, well, wait a minute. What if the industry changes? What if the company changes? What if, and we start having these what ifs, what if changes happen around me? And because I missed the growth, the need to grow and learn to be an executive, what if I miss the next signal to grow into the next phase, right? Make sense? Because I missed the fact that I needed to grow and be an executive in the first place. What if I missed the next signal or sign or flag that says, hey, you got to pivot over here because the industry changing or you got to pivot over there because the company's changing. And, and that's the next fear typically. And what I want to tell you is this. You're not going to miss it. I want you to think about two things. Number one, in your prior roles and all the other roles that you've had, had prior to this one, as the industry changed, as the company changed, as the targets changed for you to be successful, right? The measures and the metrics. Was there some sort of sign? Was there some sort of discussion? Was there some sort of collaboration and alignment that occurred within the organization? Well, the answer is yes, okay? Typically, right, anything that is a significant change, there's going to be discussion, there's going to be collaboration, there's going to be alignment of the organization before the trigger is pulled and changes have to be made, right? It's not going to be an overnight situation. I think that a lot of times, we're worried about this, number one, because of what I explained. We missed it when we stepped into the role. So what if I miss another sign again? Okay. And then the other component with this is, is the continued just feeling hangover of, of COVID and the impact that we've had to businesses and the industry and the economy because we felt like it happened like that, right? This immediate, all of a sudden, everything had to change. Everything had to shift. How do I navigate it? Well, we have to understand that COVID was just in and of itself its own unique situation. And we know that. COVID was absolutely an anomaly. And even COVID didn't happen overnight. We were adjusting and pivoting and moving. And there were a lot of decisions that were made and discussions that were had that we heard about on the news that we had internally in our organizations as we were making decisions, right? It felt like everything happened at once, but if you step back and don't look at the high level view, you come down to the macro level and you look really closely, you'll remember what you went through from a COVID perspective. And there was a lot of conversation. Now, the difference here, whenever you were probably a director or mid-level in COVID versus where you sit now as an executive, is that information was coming down to you. So it may have felt like all of a sudden the world changed a little bit. But what you've got to realize is that the executives were having conversations regularly, having discussions, talking about the business, talking about the industry and the economy. And they were trying to make very clear decisions through active dialogue. And that conversation didn't happen once for five minutes and then the entire company changed. You're now part of that situation where you're going to have active dialogue, active communication, active decision-making discussions that's going to happen more than once so that as the industry changes, as the economy changes, whatever it is that's changing, you're going to have enough awareness, enough discussion, and enough dialogue that you're naturally going to flow and move yourself and pivot yourself into those areas of need 
where you can continue to add value and it's not going to be a surprise. Okay. So recognize that, see the difference, eliminate the doubt, step back without emotion and look at the reality. You're going to find that you absolutely will pivot as necessary because it's just a part of who you are. And there's going to be ample time and ample discussions to allow you to do that. Got it? As always, go and be legendary.